those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hello there, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are those, those vegan, vegan guys. guys. Our co-hosts wearing those fancy applewood aprons. And of course, I've been writing lots of very important things in my applewood vegan book. Please tell me you can see that. Thank very you very much. Fancy. <laughs> very fancy. Uh, so today we're going to, we've come up with a new recipe. We're going to call it Quiche Karen. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah. You're ready for this? No, no, no. Let's do it. So we're just going to use a standard short crust pastry for the base of our Quiche Karen. And uh, what we've done today is we've just bought a ready made one from Just Roll. So I've got it all rolled out, measured and uh, in the tin with some baking beads um, so it needs to go in at 180 180 for 10 minutes with the beads and then five minutes without the beads before we add the topping so while that's in let's get to the topping standard block of tofu uh, we're using cauldron this evening um, and all I've done is squeeze it with my hands. Don't want to press it because we don't want it too dry. Uh, otherwise, it, it won't um, it won't mush well enough to be able to to form a kind of quiche topping. Might have to do this in two lots, you know, because I've only got a little blender these days. So I'll do that. I'm going to blend this uh, with. This is one of those hand blenders. I'll blend this and I'll show you what it's like. Okay, so when you blend your tofu, it goes kind of pasty, like this, which is exactly what you want, really. And now, whoa, hey, whoa, sorry, we're going to add a full block of applewood smoked vegan cheese. And to show you the technical job of how we get this into small pieces, Jason is going to show you one of his very special technical tips. I have been left with what is clearly the most technical aspect of this entire endeavour. Uh, sorting the cheese out. So, simply get into the cheese, of course, which I've just done, rapid like. And then all I'm going to do is use this fantastic invention called a cheese grater. Wow. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to grate the entire block ready to go in with the tofu. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm jumping ahead here. I don't even know what I'm doing. The entire block. So here you go. Will you show it to us when it's finished, Jess? I will. And it, can, you can see the difficulty involved in this. It does look extremely technical. So there you go. I'll if show you, need, you in a minute. If you need any help, I'm only here. Thank you. To add to your uh, tofu paste, by the way, just to give it that kind of eggyness, uh, which would be great for a quiche, just a little bit of black salt and a bit of turmeric, which is what we would normally do for a uh, scrambled tofu mix. And give that a right good mix around. It smells eggy straight away because of the black salt. It's got that sulfured smell. And now we have the rest of the ingredients before we put it in the par-baked pastry case which I'm going to take out the oven in just a moment. Now the great thing about Quiche Karen is she's very flexible. You can pretty much add what you want flavour wise. So we got this tonight from Sainsbury's. Uh, smoky bacon bits and I thought oh smoky bacon and smoked cheese. So they have been frying just lightly frying in the frying pan. Uh, I'm going to now mix them, yes, warm, with the mulched tofu and da an entire block of grated vegan applewood smoked cheese. Get that in there, oh my goodness. Oh my very goodness now we just give this a really good mix around and when our pastry is ready which will be in about two minutes 
we get it out, whack this in. What do you think, Jason? Do you think some peas in this? Oh, I don't know. No? No. No. Maybe I would put peas in. Now Pe peas on the side, maybe? Mmm. No, salad on the side. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think, I think this is a salad quiche. Uh, right, so, we're, yeah, we'll get it. You don't need to watch us putting it in the pastry case. We'll show you it when it comes out all golden and beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, Quiche Karen. <laughs> Fantastic name, right? It looks fabulous. It, she looks really good, doesn't she? She smells applewood smoky and absolutely beautiful. So we're going to cut. In fact, come. We'll cut a slice and show you. And then we'll sit down and have a taste. And I'm dying to do that. Right, the obligatory taste test. We've just got a very simple salad, mixed leaves, spinach, cherry tomatoes, red onions, balsamic and oil dressing. Uh, but I'm dying to try. I am. I'm dying to try this. I wanted to go for something that was a mix between a quiche and the cheese flans that I used to have at school. Yeah. Years and years and years ago. Yeah. And don't forget, she's very flexible, this quiche Karen. You might put the two essential ingredients in this quiche, what makes it a quiche Karen, Paul? Tofu and applewood smoked cheddar. That's what makes it a quiche Karen. Whatever you add to it, bacon bits, spinach, olive, peas. Still, it's still a quiche Karen. You ready? Can wait for you, yeah. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that's delicious. <sighs> it's gorgeous. Isn't it? It's got an ever so slight chewiness to it. The cheese is coming through, the smokiness is coming through. Mm -hmm. And we're having it warm. I think cold. Oh. It would be just as nice, if not nicer. I quite like cold pastries, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That is exceptional. Two thumbs up to Applewood Smoked Cheese. Two thumbs up to those vegan guys for coming up with a cracking recipe that anybody can make at home. Get to it. Amazing stuff, absolutely amazing stuff. So also, of course, try out the Applewood Vegan Cheese and let us know what you think. Try this, try other things, and tag us and let us know. And if you've got any recipes to share with us, please do. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. Be excellent to yourself and, of course, each other. Got me the faces. Whoa.